Hokey dokey. Super fun problem here. If you have not already checked out 1.12c, I would recommend checking that out and feeling comfortable with those problems because we will be using the same ideas in this problem. So let's start with number one. A researcher is analyzing fixed law. Well, fixed law, the equation I've listed here. So it's the rate of diffusion is equal to some constant k times the surface area over the thickness of the membrane times the change in concentration. The important thing here is pretty much everything on this side is in the numerator, more or less, besides the thickness. Thickness is the one denominator term to which the rate of diffusion will be inversely related to. So checking out number one, they say they determine that if the surface area increases, so surface area is in the numerator, then the rate of diffusion should also increase. That is a true statement because they're directly proportional because surface area is in the numerator, then rate of diffusion should do the same thing that the surface area does. If surface area increases, then rate of diffusion should increase. If surface area decreased, then rate of diffusion would also decrease. Number two, if the change in concentration, also in the numerator, more or less, uh, increases, then the rate of diffusion decreases. That is a false statement because the change in concentration, again, is basically in the numerator, so the rate of diffusion should do the same thing that the concentration does. So if the change in concentration increases, then the rate of diffusion should also increase. So that is a false statement. Number three, the researchers notice the area of the cell increases and the thickness increases. They determine the rate of diffusion in this case must increase. All right. So they say the surface area as well as the thickness increase. So both surface area and thickness increase. If the numerator and denominator are increasing, there's no telling what the rate of diffusion will do because if the numerator surface area increases then that means rate of diffusion will increase but if thickness increases that means that rate of diffusion decreases so unless we know by how much the surface area and thickness are increasing then we can't tell exactly what's going to happen to the rate of diffusion so we can't claim that rate of diffusion must increase that just doesn't make sense so i think only one is correct let's break out the eraser and let me do something real quick. There we go. Let's break out the eraser, and we see that B is, in fact, our answer. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, if you'd like to see another example worked out, please check out the second example I will work out.